God, we praise you now for Jesus. We thank you that we can come boldly to the throne of grace to do your will, to beseech you, to pray unto you, to ask your help. Through the blood of Jesus, God, we enter into your presence. We say, come boldly to your throne. Even so, we do it now. We thank you, Lord, for the mind to call on you, not to turn to another God. For in you, God, only you, there is help and hope, love and deliverance. You so loved us that you gave Jesus. We appreciate it, Lord. Now as we share this word, the word of truth, a word of faith, a word of hope for your people. And those who will look to you now, we ask that the Spirit of God will ride on each word. In the name of Jesus, that wherever this word will go, God, release your power now and we will give you the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you for the bad presence. The angels of the Lord, we thank you. We lose your angels. We lose the spirit of might against the spirit of death. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, we lose the spirit of might against the spirits of discord. The spirits of hate. They are people that are motivated by hate for you. Haters of God. Haters of your people. We lose your power now. God, we thank you for your divine protection for our loved ones, for ourselves, for all that you have assigned us to in the earth realm. I lose your power now on ministers, pastors, all that in the fivefold ministry. I lose your power on them, God. Those that are calling on you, those that are, oh God, that are beseeching you, those, God, that are yours. You know them by name. In the name of Jesus. The power of God prevail right now, right now, right now, right now. Hey, Shakato Robo Shak. In the DDOC. God of Alabasa. I receive a flow. We receive the flow. Yeah, we thank you for the breakthrough. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name, we lose healing now on those that need healing in their bodies. From the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. For your word is God. Lord, as this word goes forth, we lose healing in the name of Jesus. For with his stripes, yes, we are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. Every one of you that are listening to this word of faith. We certainly appreciate you. We lose blessings on you today. We lose the power of God on you today. Amen. To strengthen you. Hey, Shabbatah. We appreciate the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank God. Now, I'm going to say this right at the beginning because I just felt to say this. Those of you that are friends of this ministry, I'm asking you to send us a donation. Amen. Our ministry is under attack just like everybody else's is, and maybe even more so because God has had this ministry on the front line standing against Baal worship. Baal worship has been the arch enemy of God. Way before Moses, even during the time of Abraham. So we've been fighting an ongoing demonic 
force. God saved me and added me to his army. Even for such a time as this. And I give him the glory. Amen. So I'm asking you to send us a donation. Amen. And I'm going to put our address. And uh, where you can send donations. And your donation to this ministry. Certainly appreciate it. Amen. You can send to Apostle Gene Morris Ministries. Amen. We're not a church. We are a ministry. And we're ministry incorporated in the state of Illinois. So therefore, amen, I'm asking your help at this time. Uh, we're driving and we're going forward in Jesus' name as the Lord has prepared us for such a time as this. And our address is and will be on the screen. Uh, visit us at AJMMinistries.com And there too you will find more information of how that you can be a blessing to this ministry. The first scripture that we're going to look at is the 46th Psalm. The 46th Psalm. Here the writer makes a proclamation, a declaration. God, God. In that time it was Jehovah, the Lord, Jehovah, God. Israel was preserved, chosen to cause the truth of the Almighty God to go forth, his ways, his doings. And so here the writer declares that God is. Now we want to look at this. I have uh, a co-worker who named her ministry on television and radio, wherever that she is, God is. Now this is an eternal presence. God is. God is. That's an eternal word. Wherever the truth that Jesus declared. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. God is. God is. Jesus said before Abraham was, I am. So in him saying that, he was letting the people know that they were looking at someone who was an eternal person, an eternal being. All spirit is eternal. But Jesus came down here, the seed of God, and was imparted into a woman, Mary, and she brought forth the only begotten Son of God. But Jesus said this, That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Jesus was conceived by the Holy Ghost. And so therefore, he was God in the flesh. He was God in the flesh. So in uh, the presence of the people that Jesus ministered to, he was God. A spirit. God is a spirit. But he was a spirit encompassed in flesh. The spirit of God living in flesh that was manifested to us. That same God is our great God, the greatest. Oh, there are the gods now. And we've been wrestling against Baal for thousands of years. Still wrestling against Baal. Only people that are not wise will take up and follow Baal. Now we have the results in the United States of identifying with Baal. See what's happening now? 
death is among us. The one of the main states that allowed bail, that has served bail, is now encompassed in death. Death is raging in New York. But they put up the Ark of Baal as their God. Isn't that something? Now Baal is taking his toll and taking grown folk out, not just babies. Then we have the state of Washington, one of the states that decided that they were going to offer people, regardless of age in euthanasia so we have the manifestations of the results the fruit of the results of decisions of people abortion euthanasia now the fruit of it the bible says that those that forget God shall be turned into hell there are people right now, their physical condition is like hell. Some of them are burning up with fever. But you know, God is merciful. And he's also wise. And by us being created in the image of God, we should try to have that type of wisdom. So the writer here that started, God is our refuge. He's our protection. I'm inviting you, those of us that are in God, let's get in Him the more. Let's climb in the Spirit. Let's go on up and live in His presence in the secret place. Let's go on up, amen, and dwell on the mountaintop where we can have constant daily communication with God so that we'll be able to be a blessing more unto people that need Him and draw them unto Him. God is our refuge and strength strength amen don't fool yourself in a time like this we need strength not only physical strength we need emotional strength we need mental strength as well as physical strength we need all three amen we need strength in the spirit we need to be able to war good warfare saints we need strength so let me admonish you to get to God Spend time with Him every day. Not popcorn. Amen. But spend time in the presence of God. There's a lot that depends on our prayers now. What is prayer? Prayer is invoking. Prayer is bringing in the highest power. Which is God. Our God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore not uh, will not we fear therefore will not we fear though the earth be removed and though the mountain be carried into the midst of the sea though the waters thereof roar and trouble and be troubled though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof see there is a river what is that river the river of living waters that flows out of the belly of the saints <laughs> there is a river the streams whereof shall make glad the city of our God the holy place of the tabernacles of the most high yes God is our refuge and our strength he is who we need amen Jesus paid a price so that we would be able to get to God we enter into the presence of God amen because of the blood of Jesus we enter into the presence of God because Jesus spoiled principalities and powers and he made a show of them openly and he triumphed over every one of them in it and we will get through this victoriously. No, this is not the end of the world. This is not the a pestilence that's going to destroy everybody. The devil is a liar. Amen. And not only that, but that's against the word of God. See? See, when you know the truth, when you know the word, amen, you know how to place your faith in God. You know how to think, amen. That's the reason why it's good to read the word. I encourage people in ministry 
we need to read the whole Bible at some time in our lifetime. The whole Bible should be deposited into our spirit. Amen. And I give God the glory that God has blessed me to do that more than once. So therefore, amen, we stand on the truth, a solid rock. Amen. We are, we are holding to truth, which is a solid rock. We're standing on a sure foundation. Amen. Our, our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ and Jesus' blood and his righteousness. We dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. Hallelujah. On Christ, the solid rock we stand. All other ground is sinking sand. You know, when Jesus taught the disciples how to pray, he first started them out on purpose directing their prayer establishing themselves he taught them how to pray our father our father that's how he taught them how to pray he taught them how to pray our father what does that mean number one it means we recognize that there is someone else that is responsible for for us our father we position ourselves to be his children not just creation not just by creation yeah, everybody's God's child by creation but there is another place there is such a thing as being born again if any man is born of the Spirit, that which is born of the Spirit is Spirit. We become one with Him, in Him, because of Him. So therefore, we can go to our Father. He said, our, He taught him how to pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. It's the will of God that we live, saints. Hallelujah. It's the will of God that we live. Live. Amen. Don't let the devil get you in so discouraged and so bewildered and so caught up in, in stress and grief and disappointment and all these other types of bondages to take your strength. Joy in the Lord. Rejoice. Have joy always so that you can have the strength to live. Amen. It's the will of God that we live. And he will supply all of your needs. I'm a witness. God will supply all of your needs. Alright, he said, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And we don't have to worry about it regardless of whether the package comes down. It will come down though. God is blessing. The, the government will bless the people. The government will see to it that money and whatever gets to people. Amen. So he said, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Yes, and God will. That's the reason why we call on him. Asking God, say, Lord, deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil. Praise God. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. The power and the glory forever. Amen. If you're not saved today, look to Jesus. If you're not totally committed, look to Jesus. Repent and believe the gospel. And know this, that Apostle G. Morris loves you. Again, if you have a need in your body, look to the Lord. I'm not saying don't go to the doctor. I didn't say that. I say look to God. Amen. So if you're a person that want to bring the doctor in on your uh, sickness and whatever, that's up to you. But look to God for healing and for deliverance. Now as we go off, if you're not saved, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Thank God for our government. But Jesus is the answer for the world today. Look to the Lord. Look to Jesus and let him save you.
God, I lose conviction on that one that will repent today in the name of Jesus and reclaim their soul for the kingdom. And we will give you the glory and we will say you did it in Jesus' name. Now, God bless you. Remember, look on the screen and you will find more information about this ministry. God bless you.